A 12-month roller coaster ride may be slowing for a Mount Pleasant woman. In October of 2007, Jane Dinnan was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent a lumpectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation. But months after treatment, she's battling a new enemy, lymphedema or severe swelling. Dinnan allowed me and photojournalist Nate Stewart into the Roper Hospital operating room to see the exact details of a procedure that should reduce the swelling in her arm and increase her chances of a normal life. So it really is a burden. Look at the difference in the size of Jane Dinnan's arms. This is when they're good. Pain courses through her right arm. It's like arthritis and it hurts to bend my arm. And fluid builds and bulges in her arm and through her fingers. And since my right arm, I mean, that's what I use for everything. Lifting, pulling, holding anything is nearly impossible. My hand is very weak. I can't sometimes twist things or pull things like normal. This therapeutic sleeve relieves some symptoms, but wearing it constantly and the other therapies to alleviate the swelling have become depressing. Of course it gets depressing when you can't do the things, I can't go do the things I want to do. Dinan did her research and found a team of passionate surgeons led by Dr. Marja Massey who promised a life-changing solution. But typically we don't evaluate our final outcomes until about two years. After surgery, patients have a very uh, different uh, variety of responses to surgical interventions. Some patients uh, can even express out the day after surgery that they feel um, relief uh, from uh, their arm swelling. So um, there are two different teams working right now. 24 hours later, we are suiting up. We actually had a total of uh, three different teams. In the OR, skilled surgeons, including world-renowned lymph node transplant expert Dr. Corinne Becker from Paris, work inches apart from each other on a three-pronged surgical solution. But they still have to manage it. First, a mastectomy. You're doing very well. You haven't fainted yet. Then breast reconstruction. This here. Mm -hmm. Just take it um, up here to make a new breast. Okay. And even while holding scalpels and lasers, Dr. Massey explains how she's creating Dinan's new breast. So breast tissue is no different than any other tissue, or I mean, the, this is just fat. It's just fat. Okay. And skin. Okay, just, just that and skin. Okay. So the procedure's been going on for about two and a half hours. Dr. Massey, who is right behind me, is still preparing the flap that is in fact going to be used for the reconstructed breast. Meantime, Dr. Becker and Dr. Craigie are still preparing the site area to receive the lymph nodes. We're very careful to only take three to five lymph nodes from the donor site. As the medical team of eight continues working, they are led in part by Dinan, who <laughs> discovered this procedure by being an advocate for her own health. Find the people who are doing the research. You have to push for your own health. And I will tell you that I had a chance to speak with one of the nurses at Roper a short time ago and am relieved to tell you that Dinan's surgery successful. She has been out of bed already walking around and is expected to be home in about three days. Of course, we'll continue to update you on her progress.